today we're going to be etching Damascus. Now the method I'm going to use today, I learned from Carl Anderson in America by watching one of his videos. So I give credit to Carl for this, for what I'm about to show you now. Um, this is just the etching method, how I get the patterns out of the steel nice and cleanly. And uh, I do, I do, uh, I do um, uh, different finishing to what other guys do. What I've done here is I've polished it up to an A30 on the gator belt. It's a very fine finish, it's equivalent of a 400, but it runs this way instead of uh, horizontally, like you would normally with a hand finish. What I do is I etch it. When I'm finished etching it, I take it to an old um, 1200 belt that I've got, 1200 grit, and I run it over, and the 1200 polishes the high spots. I then etch it one more time, and then give it a buff, and it comes out real shiny, almost like a mirror. So what we're going to do today, is I'm going to put this in the acid here. We've got ferric chloride over here in the corner. And, uh, yeah, and we'll just see how it goes. We're going to do it five, five etches of about five to ten minutes each. And between each etch, we're going to take some 4-0 steel wool, clean off the acid, clean the blade, and then put it back in the acid. We're going to do that about five times. This will give you a nice definition on the, on the, on the Damascus layers. So, yeah, let's go for it. Alright, so, blade is cleaned, ready to go in. But, we want to cheat first, we want to see what the Damascus looks like. So, the solution I'm using here is ferric chloride. It's an acid specifically designed for etching metal. It's harmless, you can stick your finger in it, nothing happens. Just wash your hand afterwards, because if you accidentally touch another knife, it will uh, leave a nice big etch mark in the mouth. Alright, so let's see what this, this Damascus looks like. Hey, that's pretty neat, huh? I'm chuffed at that. Woo-wee! This is a ladder W's. Alright, so. That's the Damascus. Now, I put it in. What I always do is I always just take it out and I wipe off all the, all the particles that sometimes sit on the top of your, um, your solution. So once it's back in, I'm just going to take a little clamp. Clamp it on the blade. And hold it in there. All right, so we leave that there for five minutes, and then I'll pull it out, and we'll repeat. All right, the end of the first cycle. Just wipe the acid off. Let it drip into the tub there. And now I'm going to take the blade, and we're going to go clean it off in a bucket of water. This is the steel wool that I use, and it's impossible to get the stuff out of the pack. I don't understand. Maybe somebody can shift to show me out. So use about that much. Wet it and clean the blade. What we're doing when we do this is we're cleaning all the oxides off, all the all the the the, the, the all the carbon steel that the acid has eaten. We rub it off so that we're left with a clean surface. There we go. And then now I will repeat this. See, it's quite nice. Look at that. I'll repeat this four to five more times. Okay, this is only the second edge. I'm really starting to feel the layers. The reason I do it like this is because if you just leave it into etch, your Damascus gets a little fuzzy. By doing it this way, your the delineation between the different layers stays crisp. Okay, that was the third time. It's starting to feel those layers nicely. I'm going to do it one more time and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I think once more and then I'll be happy.
So I finished the etching. I'm very happy with it. It's got that cool chatoyance, which is that ripple and glimmer on the blade. And uh, we're going to give it a quick once over with a uh, very fine belt, which is this one, very old. I don't know what it's called, but it's very, very fine. We use it at a very slow speed. Now this is only polishing all the high spots because the carbon steel is etched down into the blade. So you're getting nice crisp lines and you're removing all, your, all, all the scratch marks from the previous scripts because it's effectively only got half the amount of work to do. And you don't actually rub any of the etching off. There we go, very nice. Let's do that like this. Okay, and now I take it to the buff. Nice and clean. Take it to the buff and then I'll show you when we're done. Alright, so there it is for what it'll focus on. There we go, that's better. Beautiful etch. You can see the pattern kind of walking across the blade. There's the other side. Very happy with that. Cool, so there you go, that's how you etch a Damascus blade.